everyone, it's Toronto's favorite realtor and today I'm coming to you from Dovercourt Wallace Emerson where I have a very special treat for you that I've coined the Emerson Twins. 185 Emerson guys, it's a huge massive detached in amazing condition with a double car garage, a dugout basement with a walkout and two big bodacious units, different, they're not identical twins, they're a little different in their own right, but certainly an amazing pair. Let's get you inside to feast your eyes on this property. Let's go. Awesome covered front porch. Coming into our massive double foyer here, guys, and I'm gonna bring something to your attention. This house has been set up differently in the past. The owner has taken incredible care of it. Originally, he lived on the main floor, the second floor, and the third floor, and he rented out the basement. Later in time, they divided the main floor and the basement from the second floor and the third floor. This home's gonna be easy to convert back or any which way you want. Of course, you're gonna go to the city, you're gonna get permission, you're gonna get permits and all that wonderful stuff, but the house, the space, and the utility is all here, and you're gonna get so excited when you see how beautiful it really is. Enough about that, let's get back to this foyer. Large sizable foyer right now, there used to be racks in here and the tenants were sharing this, hanging their coats, having shoes, it was working very well. We've just cleared it out to show you how much space is really in here. Two doors, fire doors, locking away so that you have access to the units here and this is where the units begin. Enough about the foyer, let's get you inside. Unit number one, Emerson Twin One, let's go. Raise the roof because this house is on fire. Check out this main living space of unit one, Emerson twin one. We got a wood burning fireplace right here, guys. I know you've dreamt of that wood burning fireplace in Toronto during the winter, making that lovely cool season one of the best seasons to be in your house. Ah, to have a fire. Back to our dining room space over here, guys. We got that big covered porch we've already shown you an insert of, and we got a really nice space right here. Make this a living room space, make this a dining room space. You can certainly see how lovely it would be to be perched up here with a fire going, looking on Emerson, looking onto your front porch, waving to a friend as they come up those front stairs to enjoy a glass of wine with you. What a beautiful feature to have this. This is painted out brick, guys, in great shape. Nice big kind of hearth here at the bottom. You could certainly bang this up by adding some big chunky mantle to it. You know, get that barn board going, bring your own little panache to it. Lovely hardwood floors throughout this whole space in great condition. This was the owner's own unit, so you can see that the care and pride has been here for years. And while this owner has owned the property, he's always lived here, and that means there's been great eyes of an owner on this property all the time. And that means you're gonna see it when you come through here. The upkeep, the maintenance, it's all here. There's a pride of ownership, and you feel it the second you walk through the door. Awesome space up front. Let's step forward into our living room space. And Mamma Mia, is it a nice living room space? Check out the ample room. This feels like the main floor of a house because it is the main floor of the house, but this is the living space of an apartment right now. And that's what makes it so special. You or your tenants or whoever are gonna get excited about the space, the livability of it, and how functional it all is while looking so gorgeous at the same time. Check out this couch here. Big, beautiful, comfy couch. Real size, not condo size. This is full house. Mega size, guys. Check it out. Tons of space to sprawl and have that stuff. Get your big ottoman here so you can stretch. Doing a little ab workout right now. Room for these big chairs here. You got room for these club chairs. These are oversized. Lots of room for more storage in here. And it's feeling extra big because we have this beautiful staircase leading down to the basement and we're engulfed with that extra space that's just helping to make the room really expansive. Love seeing that. Of course, you got tons of room for a big screen TV if you're gonna set it up this way. I know some people wanna put them over the fireplace. You can see the opportunity to set this up in so many different ways is what really makes it exceptional. Love this space, and I haven't even shown you the kitchen. Let's go. Coming into this big, beautiful kitchen, guys. What makes this kitchen so great? Well, one, 
tons and tons of counter space, these gorgeous blonde white oak hardwood floors, but look at this five by five picture window just bringing in that natural light, love to see that also seeing that pane in the man door. Okay guys, we got a space here for the eat-in kitchen, super rare. You saw the dining space up front, don't feel like that space up there needs to be dining. We no longer need formal dining rooms these days. We're eating in the kitchen. Hell, when you have a party, everyone ends up hanging out in here anyway. Put your dining table right here, build a little banquette, and mamma mia, you got a kitchen dining combo you're gonna love. No, this home was renovated by a contractor who cut no corners. This is a custom solid wood door kitchen. You're gonna see big pot drawers throughout. You're gonna see quality countertops like we're seeing in this granite, a Bosch gas stove, an undermount sink, and all these little details that you don't get in a regular kitchen. Wasn't built for an apartment, guys, it was built for himself to enjoy and you can feel it in here. Just take a look at this little insert over here. Just all this extra storage, all this utility and function, paneled Gen Air refrigerator, really clean and ready to go. This stuff is ready. Move in, start cooking, start entertaining, start getting those kids fed. You got it right here. Besides that, love this little prep space over here. Love these glass cabinets so you can display some of those cocktail glasses and those wine glasses. And other than that, you just have that perfect utility window kind of above the sink here and that natural light. I love seeing this kitchen where I could be in here in the summer, chopping up, getting ready to take a cheese plate outside, but I can see my partner and my guests outside clearly with the barbecue, getting the grill going, getting it exciting, getting it hot, getting it heavy. This is the kind of house where the good vibes vibe, and you're gonna see that the second you come and check out 185 Emerson. All right, that's the main floor of this house. We're gonna take you outside in a little bit. I wanna take you downstairs and show you this kick-ass basement. Let's go. I'm gonna stop you. Huge staircase here, lots of elbow room, lots of height. You're gonna get furniture down here. This isn't one of these little basement nooks where you have to crawl down and hold on to everything. This is safe and secure and open and bright. Not to mention, there's a separate back entrance, guys. Two entrances to the basement, really safe, lots of utility. You're gonna love it, let's go. Check out this ceiling height, guys. Nice, deep basement separate walkout at the back. In fact, at one point, this was its own apartment and the owner lived on the main floor, the second floor, in the third floor, but they reconverted it back so that they could have the two units split between the main level, the basement, the second, and the third. Love this space, I'll give you a lay of the land. Big bathroom right here behind me, big bedroom over here to my left, and a large, large bedroom over here to my right. Back here in the kind of back left corner, we have what was the kitchen, which is now the laundry room, but there's still some utility and some remnants of the kitchen that was there. So if you're thinking of converting it back with permission from the city, of course, you have the layout already ready to go. Let's start with bedroom big boy in the back here. Let's check it out. Huge space in here, king size bed, no problem guys. Two closets in here, we'll get inserts of this. Double over here and a kind of single double over here. Window, window, glass door right at the back, right off the bedroom. Now this could be a living room space and we have a bedroom at the back because it really feels that big. It doesn't just feel like a bedroom. This can be a main living space with an office. Maybe you could put more of that kind of TV room feel down here. If you wanted this to be a playroom or a theater room, you got it. And certainly, we still got that big ceiling height, which is so rare in Toronto, guys. Why go spend 150,000 bucks underpinning your basement when you have a low basement right here, ready to go on Emerson. Love this room. Let's go and check out bedroom number two. Another great size bedroom in here. Look at the size of this window. That's a great size window. Still got that beautiful ceiling height. And of course, there's a big closet here to my right. Nice cozy size bedroom in here. Light vinyl flooring in here, just like at the back bedroom that you saw. Love the feel in here. 
No must, no dampness, feels very inviting. You're gonna wanna be down here and you're gonna let your guests be down here. And if you had tenants using this space, you would be totally fine with them down here enjoying life and paying your mortgage. Love this. Let's check out this kitchen laundry combo. You'll see we got a little nook here for our refrigerator. We got our services in here, so our hot water tank and our furnace. And over here, there was a stove and a spot for that to go and vent out, but we've put a washer and dryer in here. Big sink over here, countertop, extra counter over here. I mean, this guy was thinking with everything he did, he didn't just cheap out and put a little tiny useless kitchen in. He wanted function, he wanted form, and he wanted his tenants to stay long and be happy. And that's certainly the case with this property. Just more storage on top. Nice utility, same high ceilings, and even a little bit of a cabinet here hiding the electrical panel, just neat and tidy and all tucked away. Great use of space, there's even a floor drain. Let's check out this bathroom. This big bathroom, guys, another big huge window in here with privacy screening on it. Huge double vanity, sized vanity in here. We got a single right now, but you could have doubles in here. Great spot for our soaker tub and our shower stall. We'll get some inserts of that and a decent spot here for our throne, if I do say so, guys. One by one, maybe a little bit smaller, 10 by 10 tile throughout the foyer and the bathroom in here. Really easy to clean, easy to maintain, and if you have spills and stuff like that, it's not gonna be a problem. Back to those beautiful high ceilings. We got them, you can bet. This is a really good sized bathroom. I could know as a tenant or even an owner, end user coming into this space, I'd be super happy with the space and the function of this lower level. I'm sure you can read it right on the camera. It's gold, you gotta come and check it out. Just behind the cameraman, if this was a condo video, I'd be calling this a den, but I'm not gonna do that to you. Again, just showcasing, there's some utility here right under the stairs, there's function to it. Using that space, this space has been imagined and designed so that every square inch can be used, and you certainly see that. If this was your spot, you could have that homework desk here, you could have that computer desk set up, we're all working from home, it's right here. There's windows on all sides of me right now, I'm feeling the brightness, it doesn't even feel like I'm in a basement. It definitely feels like a lower level living, because that's what it is. Love this, let's go upstairs and show you unit two. Emerson Twin Two, I'm gonna say it's the girl. It's bigger, it's got two levels, it's got a rooftop patio. There's more character to it. Let's check it out. Ah! Does this apartment have all the feels, guys? Now I want you to think. Think of it as an apartment, but also think of this as the second floor to your house. As the floor to your house that kind of envelops the family bedrooms and maybe an office space where everyone sleeps and gets together and reads and all that stuff. So think of it two ways, kitchen, bathroom, living space, but also big, huge bedrooms and a lot of them. If this were a single family home and you converted it this way, you could have one, two, three, four, five bedrooms up here and that is a lot of bedrooms, plus two in the basement. What are we talking about, a seven bedroom house in Wallace Emerson? That's money. Okay guys, behind me, giving you the lay of the land, we have a unique artsy kitchen that you're gonna love, I just know it. Big bathroom off to my right here. A bedroom just tucked away here, being used kind of as a storage editing room, but you'll see great use of space. At the front, a massive room. That could be your principal bedroom, but I'm sure once you see this third story, you'll be thinking and drooling about your dreams for what you could do up there. Okay, let's check out this kitchen before I show you the rest. Walking into this kitchen, guys, really good use of space. I own some rental properties myself, and this is better than any kitchen I have for one of my tenants. Check it out, lots of counter space in here. You can tell they're storing stuff on the counters because they have room for it. Even room for an eat-in kitchen. Love this vintage table, not included. This stuff is the tenants and they have great taste and it really adds to the character of the home. But big, beautiful window in here. I'm also getting side light from that window. Two cross lights in a kitchen like this, making it feel so inviting. Big fridge here. Look at all the cabinetry up here, guys. Just again, really thought out by the owner. I want my tenants to be happy. I want them to have function. I don't want them to say there's not enough space. You're gonna thrive in a unit like this if you're in it and your tenants are gonna have the same enjoyment if they're in it. 
Love this spot. Beautiful hardwood throughout here, just giving it that warm kind of character. Nice on the joints, not that cold tile feel. Really like it up here. And you can just see beautiful high ceilings. Love that, so complimented by these big windows and all the character of this unit. That's the kitchen. Let's move on and see this front room. Now just look at the character of this hallway. You got these banisters, you got the old trim, you got this glass door that you're gonna see when we see this room. You got these glass doors. Look at the displayed art. This could be your family on the wall or you could have it just the way it is, but you're feeling that character. This kind of feels like a house you'd see in a movie. You know, Matthew McConaughey and his brother in here scheming some fun plan. Well, guess what? This is the house you could do that. Bring Matthew McConaughey. I bet he'd like to check it out himself. Hashtag Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. This room, guys, at the front of the house might just be my favorite room in the whole property. Check this out. I just want to sit here and read some Jane Austen and maybe smoke a big cigar and just take life in because I'm an artist and I live in a beautiful space downtown Toronto. Man, I love this. The plants, the natural light. This bay window with walkout to a terrace, these shelving. The shelving, of course, is the tenant, but you get the idea of the texture and richness that this home has. These glass doors, this natural light, these reflective floors all coming together in awesomeness. Love this space. Let's see more. Of course, we'll get some inserts here, but there's a full front porch here that gives these guys two outdoor spaces, super rare, lovely front porch and massive rooftop terrace that I'm gonna show you. But look at the vibrancy of the plant life right here in this window, telling you that you're getting that natural light all day long and it's coming in healthy amounts. Big ceiling fan in here and just oodles of space, guys. That's right, oodles. You could get a huge sectional couch in here, and what's even more important is you could get a nice big king-size bed in here, and you could put built-ins across that wall. I love the features of this room. You can see the chimney coming up here. You could probably get this exposed, get some natural exposed brick in here, and build in some shelves on either side. Just love the character of it. Let's make sure we get a little insert of that little square window over. You're gonna feel that this house is unique. I guess you can feel it right now, but you gotta get into the space and check it out. And I promise you, it's easy to see. Let's go and see bedroom number two. Coming into this room, don't let this curtain deceive you because this room goes way over here about seven feet from where I'm standing. Check this out. Storage here, floor to ceiling. Again, look at how high these ceilings are. I'm gonna close this up. Cameraman, just follow me for a second. Take a look down here, show these people how big and bodacious this room is and how far it goes. Now remember guys, we're in a tenanted unit right now. These guys have been nothing but cooperative and wonderful for this sale and listing process. But yet, this is their space. This is how they've been using it. They both work outside all the time doing crazy stuff, which is awesome. And they use this kind of as a utility workroom. And so that's how it's set up right now. But you can imagine, big, beautiful queen size bed, bunk beds, king size bed even, some built-in shelving under these stairs, big window, natural gorgeous hardwood floors reflecting that light up and of course these big tall almost nine foot ceilings in here just letting us feel the era of that home not to mention double closets guys oh my god okay let's check out this rub-a-dub-dub washroom I'm blue I'm a Nina I'm a Nina okay Blue bathroom, guys, love it. Again, going with the character. It actually goes really well with the gray in the kitchen and the yellow in the hallway. If this is your space at some point, you'll reimagine it or you'll keep it because it works. Big window in here with a little slider at the bottom so you can get some cold, nice air in here when you're having a shower. That same hardwood coming in, giving it kind of a nice ship cottagey feel in here. Big vanity, again, this owner was thinking, give them storage, give them some utility. Big storage closet over to my left. Big shower stall, all nice white tiles, easy to clean, easy to maintain, and of course, spot for our throne. This is a good bathroom. It certainly serves this upper level. Now, if you ever wanted to do a principal suite upstairs, you could add another bathroom, of course, with permits and permission from the city. But right now, this is totally suitable, and you're gonna love it when you come and check it out yourself. Let's get upstairs and check out this third level. Now I'll stop you really quick. 
check out the window position here. We got this staircase coming down through the side of the house like this, and there's a big, beautiful, tall window bringing that light right down, one, into this level, but also, and even more importantly, down into that second level hallway, and that's why it feels so bright and light down here. Come and check it out. Check out all the space up here on this third level, guys. One, two, three, huge windows, all that cross light. It is gorgeous up here. You really feel it when you're standing here. And of course, this walks out to our massive terrace. Why I think this could be easily converted into two bedrooms is we have room on both sides. You'll see this is set up as a living room working space and on the other side we have a bedroom and I happen to know that's the main bedroom that these current tenants are using because why wouldn't you sleep up here amongst the treetops and the stars. But just tons of space, make this a playroom, get the kids stuff up here. You could put a huge sectional in here if you wanted to have a little jousting contest. You could because you have that much space up here. And I love how this kind of feature is kind of division and a focal point of the room with the stairs coming up. And because it's so big, it really works. Over here, guys, big bedroom space. And what do we have again? Yes, closets, 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 two double closets, guys. Huge space. Again, this owner was thinking, I want utility and function to this house and I'm not gonna sacrifice. Certainly, there are no sacrifices to be made with this property. Tons of room up here for a king size bed. If you wanted to make this into a principal suite and have an ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet, you can still do that without going out over that rooftop, which is so important, guys. So often, you're checking out properties in this city and your agent, your realtor, saying to you, and if you just build out over here in the future, it'd only be 50 or 100 grand. Not here. You already have the square footage, that raw function and form to the property. You just need to utilize it the way that you want to utilize it. What an awesome space. Lovely upstairs. You're gonna love to see it in person. And I just wanna show you this terrace. Come on, come on. Now check this out. It's a glorious November day. I'm getting that full sunshine. I'm up in the treetops. I got views of all the way downtown. Is that the CN Tower over there? You can bet your bottom dollar it is. And that is a gorgeous, unobstructed view of downtown Toronto, guys. And it's just gonna remind me of how wonderful this location is and how close to everything it is. Check out the size of this rooftop patio, guys. I don't know how big it is right now, but I'm certainly gonna say it's about 20 by 17 feet or something like that. You can get a sectional up here, a barbecue, and a big dining table if that's what you're after. Heck, there's even a pool. Love this space. Walk out onto your very own terrace. Sit up here, suntan below these fences, and guess what? You might even be able to take a few things off you wouldn't normally take off. But that's not for me to tell you. You be as naughty as you like on your own time. Love this space, guys. Love these views. Love the freedom that I'm feeling up here. And it's so indicative of the rest of the house. This house is so big and functional. You haven't even seen the backyard yet. You haven't even seen the parking. But every step is more space, more opportunity to breathe and really enjoy that downtown lifestyle that you just can't get with so many other smaller cramped homes. 185 Emerson. Okay, let me take you back downstairs and show you this outstanding yard and this double car garage. Coming out into this yard, guys, the first thing I'm gonna mention is the size. So often when you have a big garage, it costs you all of that big yard. Not here at 185 Emerson. Check out this deck space, guys. Tons of room for a sectional. Get that dining table up here. Of course, you got tons of room for that grill, and you just have so much more yard down here. Check this out. Big, beautiful pergola over here. Sit under here in the summer, out of the sun, in the shade, drink that wine, drink those cocktails, drink that cold glass of water, whatever you like to drink. Have your water feature running, listening to that nice, cool sound of the river right in your own backyard. Now listen, 
We're right downtown Toronto, super prime location. It's still so very quiet here because we're in a little neighborhood. You're gonna love it when you come and check it out. Let's do a flip around, Mr. Cameraman. Take a look over here. This is our separate side entrance and look how big it is. It's not a rickety old crumbly old basement entrance that you never want to go down. You'd have no problem coming in and out of here with groceries or coming in and out of here with the kids bikes or whatever. Tons of space and you can just see, look at the foliage back here. This was a well taken care of backyard. Got this gorgeous vinery here. These beautiful low maintenance plantings throughout. I know we're gonna get lots of inserts in here. And just while we're back here guys, I wanna get some shots of the brick. Look at the brickwork. This has been extensively tuck pointed and repointed. You have an older, beautiful, almost mansion of a house, but you have bricks that are almost like new. When you come and check it out, even your realtor will say, oh God, those are pretty good bricks. They're in good shape for a house like this. Wow, someone spent a lot of money because they did spend a lot of money to do it right. And you're gonna see that when you check this property out. Okay, check out this garage. Before I take you inside, look at this gorgeous vine. You green thumbs out there, think of the time that it would take to grow something like this. You inherit a vine like this, a grapevine, you take care of it, you nurture it. It's like your baby in the backyard certainly makes this yard so special at 185 Emerson. I can just envision you sitting back here and just never leaving this yard. And that's saying something when the house is that incredible on the inside. Okay, enough about the yard. Let's check out double parking garage. Check out the space in here, guys. I know for a fact they were parking two cars in here. We had a big truck and a smaller, kind of more compact car, both in here, both in and out daily. And you can really see that when you check it out. We got a pony panel back here. We got electricity back here. And just check out the height. Now I'm not an expert on laneway houses, but we have really easy access to Emerson from back here. And I can almost tell you that this would be prime location and situation to do a laneway house. So get on the phone with the city, get on the phone with the laneway construction guys and see if I know what I'm talking about because this really feels like a special opportunity. Let's check out this laneway. You get the idea. Automatic garage door, tons of room. One, two, three entrances to have access to your back parking. So you're not going around the block 16 times to get to that one spot. Really good size and space in here. And you can see there's tons of room to back out and move in, guys. This is so on point. This is such value, downtown Toronto. And you can see it's all made of newer materials. It's gonna last the test of time. Of course, you gotta maintain and keep on top of every house, but you gotta check this out in person. All right guys, I've said enough about the house. Let's pop out front for one last chat on the front porch about this location and why it might just be the perfect place for you to call home. So guys, Wallace Emerson, kind of in the heart of everything. Think about what's so close to us right now. Can I walk down to Bloor Street and get on the subway? You bet your dollar I can. Can I walk over and jump on the bus on Lansdowne or get on transit on DuPont, Dufferin? They're all right here. Can I shop with my feet without a car? Absolutely, but if I need a car, I got parking for two of them. We got Geary blowing up right now, only a stone's throw from here. Get up there, have a Blood Brothers beer, have a Dark Horse coffee. You know you want this neighborhood. It's got everything, you're so close to it all. Schools, churches, social clubs, Whatever it is you're after, you're in the heart of it. And you're like a three second Uber to anywhere because you're still downtown, guys. What an incredible place with so many great arteries to get in and out of the city. You really gotta get down here and check out 185 Emerson. I've said enough. The Emerson Twins, two incredible, awesome units ready for you to convert back to one, to change around into another three or two unit situation. Whatever you want, guys, it's a blank canvas with so much size and opportunity, you'd be crazy not to check it out yourself. For now, I'm gonna go and watch the sunset over that gorgeous city from that rooftop patio. I'm gonna have to ask you guys to, well, get the heck out of here.